I challenged you guys to make the best fluid effects for Game Maker, and today the results are in. We got three different solutions by three different authors. The purpose of this challenge is to expand our collective knowledge, so the source code for all the projects will be linked in the video description below. This first submission is by AlexDev21. I quite like how the water distorts the ground here. And to prove the water is fully dynamic, you can move the water level up and down. One small issue I'm noticing is the reflections seem to be moving with the camera. It's probably using view space coordinates when it's supposed to be using world space coordinates. That's an easy fix though. The developer left this note that says, Sorry if this isn't very good. I've never done anything like this before, so sorry if there's something that could have been done better or something is just wrong. I tried to make it as much like water as possible, based on my knowledge. You can contact me to help me improve this. There's a couple things I wanted to say about this. Firstly, no need to apologize. I chose the fluid challenge because it seemed like something new, challenging, and still fairly cutting edge. Secondly, this is basically what I do when I'm learning. I try to avoid looking up ways of solving my problems and try to tackle them myself first. So much of my work is just inventing new ways of doing things, and in computer graphics, if it looks convincing, it counts. I really appreciate you taking the time to create this despite its difficulty. This is exactly how we discover cool new stuff. I went back and replaced the view space coordinates with world space coordinates, and now the reflections seem to be oriented correctly. They don't move with the view when you look in different directions. Now let's take a look at the next entry. This entry is by Pascal. I really like the animated windmill, that's a nice touch. This one features screen space reflections and vertex shader displacement. You can tell it's screen space because it can only reflect the objects that are visible on screen. Screen space reflections are neat because they are easy to use in just about any scene while being much faster than ray tracing. This example includes a wind speed slider which controls the water turbulence and speed. You can make the water really calm or really rough. These waves are not just any waves, these are Gerstner waves, which is a fancy way of saying they are pretty realistic and pointy. Pascal put a lot of time and research into this system, so I'm going to give him the $200 prize. I'm hoping someday I can do bigger prizes because this work could honestly be worth a lot more. Regardless, I want to thank him for contributing his talents so that the whole community can benefit. And don't forget the source code to this project is linked in the video description. This code is written really well. It's well documented and with comments and all that, so check it out. Before I show you the final $400 entry, do subscribe so I can do more stuff like this in the future. Okay, here we go with the last entry for today. Wow, this camera is kind of hard to control. There's a lot going on here. We have caustic light rays, ripples, foam, reflections, and distortions. You can place water, and you can even erase water. I cannot get over these waves though, they're just so fluid. Brush size doesn't seem to make a difference in performance. You can paint with massive brushes and there's no problems. Don't mind me just playing around for a little bit here. If you enter wireframe mode, you can see just how detailed the water mesh is. If you're a shader person, you're probably wondering how this all works. In GameMaker, if you export your shader to WebGL, you can actually sample textures in the vertex shader. So this system uses a fluid solver shader on a surface to determine the water height at each vertex. For now, this only works on HTML5, but hopefully we'll get vertex texture fetching on other platforms when GameMaker's new runtime comes out. If you want to learn more about the techniques used here, make sure to check out the link below. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Big thanks to everyone who participated, and thanks to you for watching.